the grid is massive. It's 200,000 miles of transmission lines, probably worth about a trillion dollars. It reaches, you know, from power plants to transmission lines to transformers down to distribution lines that reach people's homes. If we'd had this conversation five years ago about solar, storage, wind, etc., people would have laughed and said, oh, that's really futuristic. And it's already here. And what we're finding is that everything is actually increasing. So I like to say we're not looking at a static snapshot. We're looking at a motion picture. And the frames are actually accelerating. Innovation is all across the entire human endeavor. And that is changing technologies and business models everywhere. Joining me now is Peter Kelly Detweiler. Peter Kelly Detweiler. Please welcome Peter Kelly Detweiler to the stage. A contributor to Forbes magazine and a former executive at one of the Northeast's biggest power companies, Constellation Energy. I've been in power markets for a long time. My job is to read two to three hours a day, look at all the information out there, figure out what data points matter, and then make sense of it for my customers to tell them where their ship is going to run aground or where their channel is deep. On the storage side, we see a whole host of battery companies that have technologies that are out of the labs, in the field, with the cost curves coming down. So really what we have to think about is, what's that new social compact that we're forging here as a consequence of all the new technology and business models that are being developed? We're looking at maybe the biggest data play in the history of the planet, with big data. I mean, sensors could be on, theoretically, every energy-consuming asset that consumes any significant amount of power. When I was four, you know, I was in a sandbox playing with, with Billy and Sam in my backyard and I had my Tonka truck and cement mixer and all of a sudden it occurred to me I had this epiphany that I was going to have to do something with my life. And so I said to Billy, I said, what are you going to do when you grow up? And he said, I'm going to be a policeman. I said, what about you, Sam? And he goes, a fireman. And then they looked at me and they said, well, Peter, what about you? And I said, demand response. <laughs> and, uh, and so, you know, I'm one of those few people that's been lucky enough to live their dream. isn't just a battery and it's not just a hot water heater that can change its timing. It's a whole lot of different things. It's assets that can respond to power grids and change the way they perform. And I wanted to figure out where was this all headed? How are all these constituent elements coming together and changing power markets? If you pull on this string over here, what happens over here that people don't necessarily see? What we're essentially talking about is we're building the tactile system, right? That's going to be sending this information to a brain through an electric system because electricity is what makes everything go. How we're getting smarter about how we use energy, and how much faster we're learning, how much more quickly our simulations are for wind blades or new ways of building towers or improving the efficiencies of solar panels or indeed how do we store power and create a more interactive, dynamic, efficient, economically efficient power grid for the future.